Gaudete, gaudete, Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgine. Gaudete, 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 Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgine. Gaudete. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Rock the Word 153 in the season of Advent. Uh, today, uh, we're going to feature a song that actually, I don't think I could find a better one for Rock the Word in the season of Advent than uh, Gaudete by Erasure. So um, that'll be our featured song again today, but um, perhaps some new thoughts for Advent 2022. Um, you know, the question that's been going around in my own head in my own experience of Advent is a question I would like to impart to you and maybe give you something to think about. Have you started looking at the world yet through miracle eyes? Think about that. Have you started looking at the world this Advent season through miracle eyes? Brothers and sisters, one of the things that I believe wholeheartedly is that this is a season of miracles. Everything about this season of Advent and the coming season of Christmas is miraculous. It stands to reason that the Lord Jesus would like to give to me and you a miracle. And so think about that. Think about looking at the world around you with miracle eyes. You know, we hear a lot of readings in the season of Advent from the book of the prophet Isaiah, and the readings are beautiful. They talk in one regard of the peaceable kingdom where uh, the lion would lay down with the lamb, the child would play in the cobra's den. And typically we don't think about lions and lambs playing together or children standing by or playing near the den of a cobra. But in the peaceable kingdom, it is possible. And so when you think about what Isaiah is trying to put forth, these wonderful things, these practically impossible realities, things hard to imagine, see, really and truly, Isaiah put on miracle eyes to be able to see that. And I think that's the challenge for us in the Advent season. We could so easily look at the world around us and um, become discouraged or wonder where God is and how can these things be happening? How could there be a war in Ukraine? How could there be such violence in our streets? And they're legitimate questions, there's no doubt. How could there be trouble in our own lives? How could there maybe be illness or lack of employment or uh, issues with children or relatives that are very difficult or painful? True, all of those things are real in our world. But imagine what it would be like to be living in a world without God. And, you know, the miracle within the miracle, the miracle of the incarnation, which is the, the feast of Christmas, the miracle within the miracle is that God comes in the flesh, in the person of Jesus Christ, for one reason, to save us. To save me and you. And um, one of the ways that that salvation is tangible and, um, and acquirable every single day is through forgiveness. And I have to think that if we really embraced forgiveness, everybody embraced radical forgiveness on a daily basis, our world would be very, very different. So, you see, I think when we think about what's seemingly impossible, maybe if we really embrace the reality of what this season is all about, waiting in joyful hope for the coming of the Lord and how the coming of the Lord makes himself known in our daily experience, our day-to-day -day, through uh, the wonderful gift of forgiveness is really and truly a miracle within a miracle. So think about that. When we think about the things that are seemingly impossible,
put on your miracle eyes. And this is what we wait for. You know, the Lord, we hear over and over again, one of the greatest Advent themes is the Lord is coming and he's coming to save us. You know, the beautiful mystery about that, he is coming to save us, but you know, he already has. So um, I love this reading from um, Isaiah. You know, as I said, if you have some time, read the daily scripture from the prophet Isaiah during the season of Advent. It's uh, quite beautiful. And um, this coming Sunday, which is Gaudete Sunday, another reason why the um, song by Erasure is so appropriate, um, the reading that we're going to hear from the book of the prophet Isaiah talks about these wonderful things. Um, the glory of the Lord is coming, the splendor of our God. The splendor of our God will strengthen the hands that are feeble, make firm the knees that are weak. The, the hand of the Lord will say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not, here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense, he comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared, then the lame leap like a stag, then the tongue of the mute will sing, streams will birth, burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe, the burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. See, they're the things that are seemingly impossible that the prophet Isaiah tells us becomes possible. Why? Because the Lord is coming to save us. Friends, this episode of Rock the Word 153 is being filmed on the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. And today we hear the beautiful gospel of the Annunciation when Mary receives the message from the angel Gabriel about herself and about Elizabeth, her cousin. And the angel says to Mary, with God, all things are possible. The angel doesn't say with God, some things are possible or with God, some nice things are possible. No, the angel says to Mary, with God, all things are possible. So the two miracles in, among many in the story of the Annunciation, Mary conceives by the Holy Spirit and Elizabeth, who was thought to be barren, was in her sixth month of pregnancy. And that's when the Lord says, for nothing will be impossible for God. In this Advent season, brothers and sisters, we are, we are being asked to believe that. Think about the power and the potential and the possibility if we truly believe the message of the angel Gabriel to Mary. And what does she say? She says, behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. If you remember earlier in that gospel of the Annunciation, she's frightened and wondering how could these things be, right? It's seemingly impossible. But then when the angel declares that with God all things are possible, her response is, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done unto me as you say. And so, friends, as we head into Gaudete Sunday, our beautiful Gaudete Sunday, where the vestments and the color is rose or pink, we uh, think about the beauty of all the possibilities that are right in front of our face. These miracles are right in front of us this Advent season. And so think about those things that the Lord wants to make possible for me and you. Think about the miracles that really are possible because God is coming. He's coming to save us as we progress through the Advent season, my friends. 
join me in putting on your miracle eyes. The Lord is coming with joy. Gaudete. Gaudete. Gaudete, Gaudete, Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgine. Gaudete, 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 Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgine. Gaudete. Tempus ades plexie. Ex Maria.